The extreme heat continues here in Las Vegas. I'm Joe Muller. From flight delays to making sure our electricity works, we're taking a look at the impacts from the heat. It's very hot, but you know, I like it. Visitors are braving the heat to get their iconic Welcome to Las Vegas photo. It's pretty harsh, I will say. It constantly kind of feels like your skin's burning. Las Vegas reached 120 degrees Sunday, breaking an all-time record. The heat is taking a toll on many across the southwest, including in Death Valley, where it was 128 degrees and a motorcyclist died. Medical choppers were unable to fly due to the heat being over 120. Over at Harry Reid International Airport, airlines are keeping a close eye on the temperatures. According to the FAA, during the extreme heat, the air is less dense and generates less lift. The maximum takeoff temperature depends on each aircraft and the weight on board. Harry Reid officials tell me their four runways were reconstructed to be concrete instead of asphalt, which is more durable during extreme weather. Some passengers posted online about delays with the JSX airline Sunday due to the heat. The airline tells me they were retiming some flights earlier or later and have combined some flights to minimize delays. I would say that overall our grid performed really well. Uh, this weekend, uh, considering what, what we were exposed to. As for electricity, NV Energy says their electricity grid worked well and power outages were kept to a minimum. We actually have our emergency operations center and our incident management teams uh, that we stand up throughout a holiday weekend like this to make sure that we are as ready as possible. Despite these scorching temps, road projects around the valley continue as well. I spoke to Kelsey McFarland from Nevada Department of Transportation. Really, it's up to the contractor who is on scene to make those decisions on scheduling and when they believe it may not be safe for workers to be out there. She says often during extreme temperatures, work may be done overnight. NDOT does provide any sort of resource that they would need for cooling, such as cooling towels, lots of water, electrolytes, shade, and we, of course, encourage frequent breaks in the shade. She says our roads are built for the heat. Which is why we don't see as many buckling roads. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Joe Moore.